Hey guys, it's Angelo from EarlyAccessMedia.com and welcome to episode 43, Rocket Fucking League. Um, yeah, I mean, I've only played a couple games since the last episode, one of which happens to be Rocket League. Um, so I don't know if anybody's played it. Who, who, who am I kidding? Everybody's fucking played this game. Um, <clears throat> so Rocket League is an RC, cards, uh, RC car soccer game that came out on the 7th. So a couple weeks ago, it was free on the PS4 for uh, the PlayStation Plus members. Um, it's $20 on Steam, but it's been getting rave reviews. It's a lot of fun. Uh, go check it out. It's just a very responsive, competitive um, soccer game, like with <laughs> like with race cars, like with RC cars that are customizable and stuff. It's really fucking awesome. Um, totally worth your $20. Go check it out. Uh, it's not indie, it's not early access, but I, you know, when I play a game that I'm enjoying as much as I am, um, I try to make sure that people go play it. Um, yeah, but if you're if you're looking for something that's different, competitive, uh, there's just something about it. The way the cars control feels really good. Um, it's just satisfying. Everything about it is just super high quality. Um, it looks great, sounds great. It's just a well done solid game and um, what I, I think ESL is already uh, tied it up so expect to uh, see some tournaments out of this soon um, in the near future I know people are already running them but expect to see like bigger bigger tournaments coming out of this is gonna be pretty good um, so we're already in it welcome <laughs> um, the other game that I played I did a review it's on the website and the um, the videos on the YouTube channel for this game called Lux Slinger, a fistful of fortune. So this is a um, side-scrolling platformer, uh, pixel-style Western game. Uh, it's really awesome. So it came out July 16th, so three days ago. It's 11:04. Uh, it's just an indie game. It's not early access or anything. Um, so what Lux Slinger is. Um, you play as the titular character, Luxlinger, and you're in the old Wild West, and you come across a dying man who gives you his um, lucky bracelet. And what this bracelet does is, as you kill enemies, you generate luck, and that affects everything in the game. So as you, um, you have to load your revolver. As you load your revolver, you get lucky bullets, that, and they'll go towards the enemy, uh, depending on how much luck you have. Um, it it just affects the way the world works. So, like for instance, every like if you have a lot of luck and you jump on a platform, it might not fall out from underneath you. If you don't have any luck, it'll start to crumble away. If you fall down, like if you miss a jump and you start to fall, or you, you, like you would fall, it'll put a little like platform underneath you if you have enough luck. Um, it, it's also uh, I think bullets bend away from you as well if you have. Um, if you have a lot of luck every once in a while it triggers randomly um, it's really awesome uh, it, I, I've had a lot of fun playing it um, yeah, go check out the first look go go read the review see what you think it's got 18 reviews right now and they're 94% positive um, actually now I want to see what this asshole has to say that's negative sketchy controls and a limited number of lives with luck based mechanic keeps me from recommending what should otherwise be a fantastic game. Uh, this guy's out of his mind. Um, it's it's a hard game, don't get me wrong. It's not easy. Um, you're like The way it works is you play a level, you hit checkpoints, you have three lives. If you die, you replay the level. Pretty, pretty standard fare for uh, a lot of games of, of the past, I don't know, 50 years, how long we've been playing video games for, since the 70s. Um, so yeah, it's hard, but it's awesome. So go check it out. Um, eleven ninety nine. No, it's usually twelve ninety nine. So it's eleven oh four right now because it's uh, it's fifteen percent off. But if you're looking for an interesting take on a side scrolling shooter, this this is it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, well, you know, since it's the weekend episode, it's this is gonna be relatively short. Not a lot has come out. Um, However, a few things did, and I actually have keys for a couple of these, so I will be able to play them. Um, but while we're here, 
go to uh, the Twitter page. It's uh, at Early Access PC. Um, pinned at the top of my Twitter feed is a tweet. Um, I'm doing Christmas in July. So as I get likes on a specific tweet, I'm going to be giving out keys to different games that I have. I have a stockpile of keys that I've gotten since I've started, and um, I'm, I'm just going to be dumping them on to Twitter uh, up until the 25th, where I'm just going to every 10 minutes or so until I'm, they're all gone. Um, so they're just out there in the ether, ether, so I don't know if anybody's going to be using them or anybody uses them, but they'll be there. So don't forget to go follow Early Access PC for that kind of stuff. All right, so that brings us to what's come out. Um, you know, these are all, I think these are all Early Access titles, as with most of the what's new. Um, so this first game is called Super Dungeon Run. Uh, it's by Proper Games. Thank you, video. Um, it's got seven reviews, all positive. It's $5. Uh, it's in early access. But it's a top-down um, dungeon crawler. You know, so it kind of reminds me of... Um, what's that one called? Uh, dungeon... I don't know. It looks like every. It looks like most dungeon games. It's got a cute aesthetic, though. Uh, the character designs are really, really cute. Um, so it looks like a fun little dungeon crawler, loot-driven, smash grab, you know, action, action RPG like kind of game. Um, don't have much else to say. It's five bucks. It's got some positive reviews. It just came out. Um, it looks really cool. Uh, seems there's a couple YouTube videos that they have listed on their um, on their Steam page. So go check those out. Should do you well. All right, let's see what next game do I want to do. We'll do this game, Temporal Shift. Uh, this came out the 16th. It's 9.99. It's 15% off right now, so it's 8.49. Um, now it says it's an action simulator game. I tried to watch a video earlier and get a good idea about it. It's like a real-time strategy, uh, like, real-time strategy tower defense is what it looks like to me. Um, so, it's another tower defense. If you if you like tower defenses, you'll probably like it, but, I mean, I, I've, I think I've had my share of tower defense games. Um, it has no reviews yet, and it's probably because it's a tower defense game. But if you're if you're into those, go play it. Whatever. To each their own. Um, all right, this next game is called Slide Platformer, or as I like to call it, Super Meat Boy clone with a little slimy guy. Um, it reminds me a lot of Super Meat Boy. It's the same kind of, you know, stick and slide, jump, um, avoid spike walls style of gameplay that Super Meat Boy did so well. Uh, if you go watch the video, it's essentially that. However, it looks incredibly hard. Um, but just like Super Meat Boy, I'm sure it's one of those things where you're just going to... It's trial and error, try and, uh, trial and error. Um, it just incredibly frustrating. So if that's your thing um, and you f you're, you know, you're a fucking masochist, g go at it. It looks cool, though. It's got... You know, it looks like Super Meat Boy, you know, 2D... Um, platform jumping around uh, it looks competent though it looks fine it's ten dollars though which is a little bit pricey um, considering ah, super meat boy still 15 bucks however you know super meat boys tried and true um, but you know go support another indie developer um, you know super meat boy did very well for team meat and you know they made a lot of money and i don't know if they i don't know if they've made any other games it doesn't come up under their developer tag when you click on it so uh, i'm not sure I, I thought i heard that the one guy did do something else but um yeah so anyway slide 10 bucks it's a meat uh, super meat boy style puzzle game so Go check that out if you see if you see fit. Um, what do we got here? 
All right. This next game is called Barbara Ian, like Barbarian, but they split it up into Barbara Ian. Um, it's this weird uh, action, like dungeon crawler, wave based game. Um, it's got three reviews, they're all positive. It's four dollars. I actually got a key for it today, so I'll be putting a first look up if you want to wait for that. Um, it, it, it's like you know super blocky animation like uh, 3d models it looks fun um, the, the the catch is though your your character only has one hit point so it's one hit kills and you're dead um, it it looks great though it's got a lot of like humor to it it looks like um, it's just you know over the top silly dungeon crawling experience it's only four dollars but like i said I, I do have a copy of it and i will be putting up a first look um you know pro probably in the next couple days before the next podcast all right that brings me to the last game um this game is called badlands badland bandits and it's a starter edition uh, from what i understand this game's going to end up being free to play um, but right now in the early access, it's seven dollars. But what that seven dollars gets you is the equivalent of one month of their premium service, uh, five thousand dollars, uh, five thousand in gold, which is their in-game gold, and a couple uh, premium skins. And there's also an ultimate uh, edition that is premium for three months, ten thousand gold, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, um, six different skins and a premium combat vehicle that you can only get from the from that ultimate pack, which is twenty dollars. And then there's a premium a premium pack too. Um, okay, no, so the entrance, like the entry fee to play this game, is seven dollars. Um, it is structured as a free to play game, though. Right now, it's got 16 reviews, 81% positive. I have played this game for about 20 minutes, and it's actually kind of fun for a free-to-play game. Um, there's people playing it, but not many. Um, let me see. Badlands, Badland Bandits, Steam Charts. Um, I don't think anybody was playing it the last time I checked. Um, God, I hate Steam Charts. Steam charts, Badland, Badland Bandits. Yeah, no one's playing it right now, which is unfortunate. Uh, you know, one person, three people. And if that's what's going to kill this game until it goes free to play, if it is ultimately free to play. Um, I think right now, since it's an early access, they're only trying to get people in there that want to play. However, I wouldn't be surprised if the people that are, are that are playing are the people reviewing the game. Um but it's 16 reviews, 81% positive. So what it is, is it would be good if I told you, right? <laughs> so it's a car combat game. Um, it's like got, there's cars and there's helicopters and, you know, weird steam. It's all steampunk. It's a steampunk world. Um, the game mode I played when I played was a domination style. So, you know, three points. You're fighting over the points. You, you upgrade your... Um, your your car or your ship they unlock over time it plays it plays well and um it looks it looks pretty good the gameplay is there like everything feels good the the combat feels good so i think it's going to do really well especially if it ends up free to play um i think it's got a lot of just it's got enough ta like different gameplay than other free to play games of the similar like genre I don't like that it's tagged under um, multiplayer. It's definitely not like, I mean, massive, massively multiplayer. It's just, uh, it's not even multi, I mean, it's just multiplayer. I don't know why it says massive multiplayer, but it says popular user defined tags. So I don't know how that works. I guess you have to, you can add your own tags, I guess. I never, I never used that on Steam. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know. But if it doesn't go free to play, it's going to be one of those games that suffers from not being, I mean, just from being a multiplayer game and um, in, in early access or an indie title that's just not going to draw enough people. But what are you going to do? 
So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, yeah, sorry it's a little short. You know, weekends. Weekend episodes are smaller. Um, I may I may consider just doing start like switch to a, a single weekly podcast um, now that I figured out a way to get the compression on the podcast a little bit smaller. So I'll probably probably start doing longer episodes. I might give it a shot at some point. If not, I'll just keep doing the two episodes. I don't give a shit. Um, but thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget, as usual, click through the Amazon banner on the website, bookmark it, use that to make all of your Amazon purchases. Really does help out. The percentages that they kick back. Uh, for that advertising program are really, really good for um, podcasts and websites. Uh, if if you want to monetarily donate, there's Patreon. Go check it out. Um, when and if I ever get more people or people to sign up for the Patreon, I will do special giveaways just for the Patreon. Um, and as usual, earlyaccessmedia.com, earlyaccesspodcast.com. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Early Access Podcast on YouTube. And that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And until Thursday, have a good start of your week, and I will see you next time.